go. So today we have a special guest in the house. So as every good Italian, we have cooked the pasta. Here it is. Lorenzo have already finished. 11, so, 11 minutes, not 10, not 12, 11 minutes. <laughs> Perfect. And if you like, uh, just to finish, put some pecorino cheese, that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> so today we have a special guest in the house, as I was saying. We have Ash from Anzen. We are listening to the preview of his next release. So we are listening, uh, we, are, we are very lucky to listen to the pre-master today. You, uh, you can hear something in the background. So, some noisy stuff. Some noisy stuff, I think it's really nice. Uh, yeah, it's like a good pasta, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> As I was listening, you, you put some, some beats, some, you mix with some break core, with some break beat this time. Yeah. But usually I'm not so much into this break core thing. I try to, to keep grooves, you know? Breaking beats is really breaking grooves also. It's something I don't do so much. We try to, of course, use more than one pattern, <laughs> trying to make it more uh, complex and uh, more interesting so that there's a little development. But I, I don't think that I'm overdoing it like other artists do, which really breaking the beats. I'm not so much into that. I, I'm old school and more kind of rock and roll feeling or whatever. So for me, the group has to. Uh, Kept, even kept alive, yeah? It, it shouldn't be destroyed that much. I like to destroy the sounds. I'm working with destroying sounds, but um, the group still should be kept alive, in my opinion. Yeah, to me it sounds, it sounds new because you move from different territories, I think. You move from different territories. I try to, yeah. What? I got it. Wait. I got to eat louder. I'm gonna eat much louder. Mmm. Mmm. Good pasta. So, what I was saying is that you are moving from different territories this time. You mean musically? Style? Musically? Yeah, stylish. Yeah, yeah. No, I think so. uh, you know, me too, I like to listen to lots of different styles. You can find here, uh, you know, these records mm. from, from punk to yeah. industrial, from folk. Uh, to pop, yeah. really rock yeah. and techno, whatever. Yeah, whatever is interesting. Yeah. So even in techno, I've it's listened a, a lot. And you know, Lorenzo presented me as mm. in the, you as industrial uh, harsh project. Yeah, harsh. What, what I think is yeah. that you mix that kind of style, mm. but you go you go more more near different territories. Yeah, yeah. Because all the harsh, the, the most of the harsh I've listened till today mm. is only mixing. Uh, the noises, mm. you know, but never go so, so, so much into the into the beat or into the groove. Mm. And what I find in your music is, is more yeah. this mix. Yeah, I'm trying to combine these elements. If somehow I'm a kind of uh, whatever rock and roller, so I still got song structures. It's not only tracks. I think I still got a lot of uh, song structures in them still. And yeah, so I'm. Um, mixing the different influences which came to my life musically like techno also but of course rock and roll right. yeah i'm from the 80s i was socialized in the 80s with bands like alien sex and Bauhaus and this kind of stuff which i still enjoying and i think you still can hear it somehow but of course there are other impacts like techno or really harsh industrial music which i try to mix into my whatever favorite style, maybe it's a kind of individual style, but that's industrial, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In my it opinion, is industrial bad. means means an individual lifestyle, yeah, a little yeah. bit subversive, uh, but um, it's free, it's not limited, it's not restricted. You don't have to do things like that. If you want to be industrial, uh, um, industrial music, you don't have to do this, like this, and that, like that. You just have to find out what you like, in my opinion. So it's a very open-minded kind of scene. And that's why all these things are coming together. They are like break beats also, or even now we got this um, dubstep thing coming in. We got a kind of noise step, they call right, it, right, right. which is quite interesting. Right? Just funny, yeah? As too, we were talking about making the doom step. The doom step, with yeah, the yeah, 
I think that's not so pretty new. I think there have been a lot of uh, crossover activities between the industrial scene and um, the metal scene, you know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Industry and stuff, but... For sure, for sure. So all... Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so... Mmm, pasta. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna continue. Pasta well. is very, very nice, yeah? So, what's this about? These posters seem to have a meaning. This poster seems very, seemed very strange to me. I, I saw them all around Rome years ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what, what did it mean. I even you didn't know. No, I didn't know. Then I found you know, they have a the card in there. Yeah, then I found the cards around Rome. I said, fuck it, well, what's happening? You know, I thought it was a kind of uh, setta, you know, mm -hmm. something uh, occult or uh, <laughs> satanic. It was very scary for me. You know? <laughs> so, after a few, I understood it was a festival. It was, you know, a, a promotion, a kind of dark promotion. Mm -hmm. Pre-promotion of this festival, it was one of the first editions of the post-romantic empire that was a Taurus club. So when was it? It was 2000? in 2001, 2003. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay, around that. I was, uh, I was not living in Rome at that time. So I found this promotion very interesting. And then I went to the festival and I took the, all the collection of the posters. It was five posters. And uh, now I have it all around in the house, and then it was funny to get connected with Post Romantic oh, okay. years after. And to find the poster in the house, you know. Uh, it was very nice, very nice. Yeah. And everybody who comes inside the house always say, oh, what does it mean? And so it's still powerful, the communication of, of these it images. Is. It is. After Lorenzo, if you want, show them the rest, because there are a few more around the house. <laughs> Nell'entrata, and uh, I show you. Come with me. I show you <laughs> where dreams end. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one. So this is a kind of museum then, huh? Another one over there. Special, uh, How is it pasta, guys? Pasta is so good. Mm. <laughs> you, you should have one. Come on, open your mouth. But isn't that industrial? Yep, open your mouth. Ah. Ah, no. <laughs> but isn't that industrial to eat pasta? Yeah, it's like industrial somehow. Mm. I mean, industrial you can't eat, but you can live it. Somehow. Some do. For me, industrial means a kind of lifestyle. A lifestyle of someone who isn't so much into society or into civilization, but criticizing it from a point of view which is a little bit outside of it. That's what, I've, what I'm feeling about it. Maybe there are other people feeling other things in the industrial scene. But, um, as I told you before, I think it's quite open-minded. So there are a lot of ideologies. It's very individual. So I just could give a statement about what I'm thinking about industrial and the industrial scene. And I love it because it's quite familiar. I like it very much to meet friends which somehow tune on the same frequency as I do. About the music, of course, about the aesthetics and also about um, the ideology and criticizing civilization of these days. Okay guys, say hi to the post-romantic fans. Hey! So sorry for you that you can't taste this wonderful pasta. Thank you, Ami. Mm, thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>